So this is our uh, PWD sub, and I'm showing you how it kind of goes together so you can get a better idea. Only has all rings on the outside of it, but for installation purposes in this video, we are, we're not going to have them on there. Here are the ports where the, the fluid goes into and goes shows up to here. And uh, that fluid actually goes into here as well, which will show through here. And then once it goes through there, it will go onto the PWD holster that we have with these ports. And I'll show you right now how it gets installed. So, as you can see, sleeve goes in. Rotate so you can see. So what I purposely did is I put the holes there, but these holes shouldn't be really there. It should put be more like around this area. That way you, the fluid can go through here and enter to those little poles as well. So we want to put those away. In the assembly below the PWD sub will be a pony sub. And below that pony sub will be the UBHO sub that goes below this. The UBHO sub is what holds the uh, Mutu sleeve that orientates our tool. Mm -hmm. This is where the sleeve number goes, is onto your lower end. So imagine this sitting inside of a UBHO sub. So it's gonna be sticking out further up here. And then the pony sub goes somewhere here in between and then that PWD sub will sit here with the holes as well that's how, where it should line up this will line up with this when installed prior to assembly what we do is uh, we, may, we measure the distances of where Everything is going to land to make sure that the whole the uh, PWD sub and the PWD poster line up. We will put the Mushu uh, sleeve onto the helix on the lower end. And then this is a use Mushu uh, sleeve. And uh, so it's marked where the uh, set goes, where they normally hit and they hold the sleeve in place. So this is an indicator. This gnarling is kind of where it normally lands anyway. So we use this as a reference. So here in the middle of these two is where I start measuring. From here to where the holes on the PWD sub. Pulser, sorry. So it's about 71 and a half inches. To determine the size of the, or the length of the pony sub, or what you need in order the for everything to line up, we measure it out. So we put into the sub where it bombs out as you can see here the gnarling and I can rotate so you can see the uh, the marks the previous marks so from there uh, I would measure from the center point of the screw hole to the edge of the uh, of the scene, uh, surface of the UBHO sub on the top hole side so this is about 24 and a quarter inch if you want to be exact. We get one more last measurement to get the uh, the length of the pony stuff as well. So now we're going to measure from the set screw hole to the seating surface on the pin of the PWD sub, which as you can see it's 7 inches. And so previously we got three measurements. We got the overall length from where the Mishu sleeve sits inside the UBH sub from the set screws to the set screw hole on the PWD sub so that overall length was 71 and one and a half inches total right in order to get the pwd sub length you will get the total length and hold, keep that in mind so we also measured the mushu sub uh, from the set screws to the uh, ceiling edge on the box and that was 24 and a quarter inches 
um, and then we measured the seaming surface from the PWD sub pin to the set screws and that was 7 inches. So what you do is subtract this and then you're going to get 17 and 1 quarter inches and then that way you know because <clears throat> you're minusing the material length from this to this and from the UBHO sub uh, box, to, box to the set screw holes and that's why you get 17 and a quarter inches. So now what you do with that, you minus that from the 71 and a half and you get 54 and one quarter inches. This means this is the length of the pony cell. And that's from pin to box.